A very good morning students. This is Dr. Akanksha Agrawal, your zoology faculty. Today I have come up with a very new, a very innovative and a very, very important course, a very beneficial course I would say and that is concept booster with problem solving course of zoology for NEET or AIMS. Since last few months students have been making request for making a problem solving course because we already have the complete theory course, the perfect theory course. So I have come up with a very unique course. Why I have not named it only problem solving? Why we call it concept booster with problem solving? Let us see. So now students, this course covers the complete theory of zoology with exclusively designed problems. Basically we will be dealing with question solving, MCQ solving, AR solving, but through the means of those questions, we will be boosting our concepts of theory as well. We've, it's a kind of revision of the whole theory of zoology of both 11th and 12th by means of questions. Right now, in this by means of questions, I have tried to cover the entire important theory of NCRT as well. The most important how I have framed this course is that I have taken each chapter in three levels. In one level, we will solve level 1 and 2 questions, which are the basic MCQ level type questions. They are basic level. Most of them are direct questions, directly lines of NCRT, you know, uh, how they are asked. We will go in the next lecture with level 3 and 4. That means the advanced level questions, the advanced level MCQs. Some of them which are asked indirectly or you know a little tricky ones or the little out of the box of NCRT those questions we have included and why we are calling it the booster course problem solving course for NEET as well as AIMS because for each chapter I have also devised assertion reason type question lecture separately for every chapter. So we will be solving the basic MCQs, the advanced level MCQs as well as lot of assertion reason type questions. And in total, you will have a big bank of questions, more than 4,000 questions. You will not need to solve any other MCQ book, any other book for questions. Just read your theory and solve this course and you will be done with your NEET and AIMS preparation. Now, what I have done in this student that we will be providing you the PDF files of all the exercises. So how you have to solve this, revise your theory, take the PDF file, solve the paper yourself and then look into the video lectures. This will help you in two ways. Number one, if you are not getting the answer of any question, you can uh, have a look at it in the video lecture. Number two, suppose you have solved the question in two minutes. When you will see the video, maybe I have solved it in 40 seconds or one minute because every second is like a money in uh, examination hall. So that will help you in that. The medium of instruction is in English, but let me, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, tell you again that this is not some rocket science English that I will be using. It's a very basic English, like the way I'm speaking right now. So not only just the students who are fluent in English, but the students who are English medium students who can understand a basic level of English, even some of the Hindi medium students, they solve the questions in English from the books. They will also be able to understand this course very, very easily. It has all the chapters of 11th and 12th. So this course is beneficial for students who are in 11th, in 12th, as well as who are droppers. I should not say droppers who are pursuing for medical entrance after 12th. All right. Now, what is the main unique selling point? What is the uniqueness of this course is I have made you learn and practice the right approach to solve the question correctly in minimum time possible. Students, what happens sometimes when you are asked to solve a question outside the examination hall, you are able to do it quite well. But what is important is solving the questions correctly in those three hours given. Because there is a lot of stress, a lot of pressure during that time. And we can't even afford to lose a single second. Physics and chemistry is already tough. Physics is already taking our life, you know, our breaths out of our body. So we need to have the approach to solve the question correctly in minimum time possible so that we can utilize that extra time in solving physics, chemistry, or maybe the advanced level MCQs of biology. We have learned the various tricks. 
like how to solve ar many of the students get confused with level uh, with between you know option a and b whether reason is the correct explanation for assertion or not so what is the trick full proven trick to solve ar without getting them wrong what is the full proven trick to solve the mcqs in minimum time all the various tricks we will learn and we will practice them also it is not just about learning it is it is about practicing only then your brain eye and hand coordination will be perfected and in the exam you will be able to solve them with most accuracy like this is just one example i have given how normally the students solve this question they will you know they will first match these like this they will do all this first they will read they will solve and then they will match you know one by one all the options they may reach to the right answer but it may take let's say 1 minute how can we solve it i'll show you the best way look at a don't look at these options at all just come here a could be 4 or 3 right let's see a is 3 we know it is not 4 so now this cannot be the answer now we will look at b now b could be 4 or 5 we know b is 4 so this cannot be the answer we will not even look at c because c is common in both so we don't have to waste our time in even seeing c we will directly jump to d and we know that d is 1 so the question is solved so without even looking at c and e option we have solved the question sometimes even the first a will only solve your question suppose in this 4 3 2 1 you know a is 3 your question is solved you you have not even looked at b c and d this you know this is one of the example i am giving you that what is important is the right approach so that we can solve in minimum time all right so um students basically we have to think differently we have to work smarter and not harder this is what is most important because the one who does smart work will get selected and of course the other may also get selected but the rank will be boosted you will get into a good medical college with solving more questions correctly in the minimum time so this will be my effort to help you out in this journey of yours in becoming a doctor so i just hope that this course helps you out with lot of problem solving with lot of concept boosting that we will be doing thank you and all the very best to all of you